sociopaths. I mean, let me see this. What if we get wrong about sociopaths? We have empaths on one end of the spectrum, and we have sociopaths on the other end of the spectrum. And it's kind of a spectrum of like where where you're empathic, you know, how empathic you are. Wow. And, and is there someone who's him, actually, actually like a hundred percent sociopath? Right? Even so, more moral than someone who. Oh, oh, actually, let me let me do this test. Actually, I'm actually down. Whoa, this looks like a super outdated website. Fine, okay. Let me let, let me do this, okay? Let me do this uh, test. Success is based on survival of the fittest. I'm not concerned about the losers. <coughs> hmm, success is based on the survival of the fittest. I'm not concerned about the losers. You know what? Sometimes I do feel like success is based on survival of the fittest. And honestly, though, sometimes I'm not concerned about the losers. So yeah, I think I'm, I I fall more, you know, more so where, you know, this is like strongly strongly agree. So I, I I mean I'm pretty much agreeing with this. What's right is whatever I can get away with. No, I don't I don't really agree with that because you can. I'm looking at this as like a negative perspective. If you do, because someone could just look at what's right as anything, you know, like they could see. Uh, Robbing the store as a you know as something that's right, and you can get away with it, and it will benefit you. And I feel like that's a negative. I feel like I don't know. It's just bringing negative uh negative vibes for this one. I want to say I disagree. I don't I don't like that. I am often bored. I am often pretty bored. <laughs> And that's why I'm streaming right now. <laughs> We're counting down our picks for the top 10 signs that you're a nerd. So, uh, uh, yeah, I gotta, I gotta agree. I'm, I'm often bored, actually. But then again, I play video games and do these type of things to not get bored. So what does that even mean? We're counting down our picks. Because I'm having fun right now, right? <laughs> I'm streaming, I'm having fun. What? This is not boring to me. I want to say, I want to say, uh, neutral, neutral. See, I feel justified in doing anything. I do feel justified in doing anything I can get away to succeed. Like, if there's something that's, like, bad, but it'll eventually bring me, like, the good for the family, then I think I'm, I'm okay with it. I don't know. It's, like, it's a really, <laughs> it's, it's hard. Yeah, I want to go with degree. My purpose in life is getting as many goodies as I can. You know what? I'm gonna have to strongly, strongly agree with that. I that's my strong. I agree strongly with that. Honestly, I quickly lose interest in tasks I start. Depends on the task that I that I. Uh, I'm gonna go neutral. I think it depends on like the task that you want to do. If I think it's like really fun and like it's worth you know trying, then yeah, I'm I'm down for it. If it's something that's like you know like math, like if it's math that's like. You know, that's a, that's a that's a task that I lose interest really quickly, and it's boring for me. But then, like I remember one time I was a, uh, I told a story a couple of times. I was in math class one time. And I was just thinking about you know, and like frame data, and all of a sudden I just felt like I like, I felt like I like understood math. Like I just felt like I understood it. I literally understood it like I don't know why but like my thinking process was okay think this right now but write this like write this in your notes later when you get home because right now I'm in math class you know doing math but it's like I had like this like enlightening like experience that I've never had in my entire life before hola mi nombre es Stephen Hawking y me gusta comer tacos de carne asada para mi de daria. But in the end, I never, I never wrote it down. But I feel like I was a genius. I feel like I just understood every single thing. People who are stupid enough to get ripped off usually deserved it. <laughs> you know what? I agree because there was this one time. There was this one time, right? I got my check. I went to buy something for my brother for his for his birthday because, you know, like the next week was his birthday or something like that. I get stopped by this guy in a van. <laughs> And he's like, hey, hey, you want to buy these uh, electronic things? I'm like, can you show me? 
Yeah, and like, you know, he opens his trunk and everything. He has his uniform on that says like tech or whatever, like whatever company it says. He shows me the paper the paperwork and he's like, Hey, you can buy like two you can buy two of these for like if you just give me like four hundred or something. So I was debating I was debating on buying these things for like an hour. Like literally like an hour just standing there. I'm like, hmm, should I buy this or not? But like this looks sketchy, I'm not really sure. He's like, yeah, but I, c I can follow you to the bank or whatever. And and I, I told him yes. <laughs> but then inside the bank, I'm thinking, I'm, I'm still debating, like, should I buy this or not? I I then tell him, you know what, man, I I'm not gonna do this. I I, I can't do it. And he's like, hey, hey, man, but you could have told me earlier about that you weren't gonna get it. I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. And I was like, you know what? Oh, you know what? Then I just had like this, like <laughs> I just changed my mind the last second. I'm like, you know what? Like, fuck it, I'm buying it. <laughs> I literally said that. I literally said that. I gave him like the four hundred dollars. He was so happy. And then, like one of the most sketchiest things he said was, uh, it was this was like the most obvious thing that he said. That you know, that kind of gave it away that this was a scam. He's like, hey, can you give me like your uh, your your phone uh, charger or whatever, something, something like that, like your phone carrier or something like that in your phone. Like he was saying like, hey, can you give me like uh, $10 or more so, so I could buy beer or something like that. And I was like, like why, oh, why did I give him my money? I did deserve it, right? I, I mean, I mean, I was stupid enough to deserve it. I got ripped off like easily and I did deserve it. So I, I agree. I'm going to get frustrated. I often let off steam by blowing my top. <laughs> let off steam. Oh yeah. <laughs> no, I do not do that at all. I never ever do that. I often admire a really clever scam. You know what? <sighs> sometimes I actually kind of do. I'm like, this is genius. But then, like, sometimes I just like think of myself doing the scam. But that, but that, but then, like, at like in the end, I'm like in jail. So I'm like, you know what? I'm not doing this. Like, there's cameras. There's like everything like this. I'm not doing this. I'm never ever doing this. Sometimes, like rarely, I admire a scam. Because like, it's like really clever. Like you trick like so many people. I joke about replacing my body with machine parts. No. I've studied how to win at gambling. Sometimes I have. I have to study sometimes. Only like barely though, but I, I do agree. I have thrown knives, axes, other sharp things. I mean, I mean, in Call of Duty, yes, but not like in real life. Hello! You're fat kid! Fuck you. I've burned things up with a magnifying glass. No. Okay, this is like super like <laughs> This is like some like toxic type of behavior. <laughs> I think a natural disaster would be kind of exciting. No. A natural disaster? I've set fuels, aerosols, or other chemicals on fire just for fun. No. I was fascinated with dancers as a child. Yes, yes, I was. I think everyone I was. Okay, so let's submit. Let's let's see what let's see what we get. Your score for primary psych psychopathy was higher than 72.84 percent of people who have taken this test. Your score for secondary psychopathy was higher than 49.13 percent of people who have taken this test. Wait, what is it trying to say? It's saying I'm a psychopath. <laughs> I'm just a bit of a psychopath. What the heck? <laughs> this is weird. This is interesting. And I'm trying to see. You know what? This is interesting. Pog. You know, I, I I'm actually like. Wow. Hey, what do you guys think of my responses? Dang. Seventy-two percent. I'm a bit of a psychopath, <laughs> dude. I'm, this is crazy. I'm a psycho. Seventy-two percent. That's actually a lot. Wow. Now I don't know what to say. This is actually really crazy.